Yeah, I, I think everyone is thinking about contextual today and, and there are some misconceptions about it. For me, when I think about contextual, it's all about aligning with the consumer and what they are watching or doing. And also thinking about where they are in their customer journey with your brand. And there's a lot of tools out there today to, to get that alignment closer to accurate. Um, but I think a lot of people are stuck in the mindset of thinking about contextual just as keywords or just as metadata. And while that does provide some important contextual clues, it could miss the larger picture, such as what the consumer is feeling and how they're actually thinking in that given point in time where we're trying to connect with them. And what's interesting is that everybody seems to have a contextual solution these days. Uh, how do you view contextual and what elements do you look for in a contextual partner? Yeah, the thing I'm really looking for in contextual is to get the right mindset of the consumer. So it's not just about the content that's on the page um, or video that they're watching, but also their reaction to it. Uh, what mindset could they possibly be in? So I think there, while there are a lot of tools out there, I'm looking for something that can really key in on how that consumer might be feeling and the mindset that, that they're in. Um, because we've seen in, in data that we've done with the Magna Media Trials team, the getting mindset right is really what delivers on that promise of right consumer, right product, right time. Um, that mindset bit is really what helps us zero in on that right time to contact the consumer and has a lot of potential to really increase brand metrics, whether it's awareness, favorability, or search intent. Yeah, so among, among some of those metrics that you just mentioned, um, we also hear a lot about you know, different kinds of business outcomes. Do you see contextually relevant ads inspiring greater purchase intent? Yeah, I think getting context right really powers your ad experience from top to bottom. And I'll give you some examples of that. Uh, in our Magnum Media trial that we did, we found that using an intelligence engine that goes beyond metadata and keywords and really maps like what mindset the consumer is in, first of all, that reduces video skipping by 16%. So at the very top of the funnel, you're actually getting consumers to pay more attention to your ad. Um, beyond that, once they've actually watched the ad, if we're really capturing them in the right mindset, which a sophisticated contextual engine can do, uh, that drives an increase in search intent, in purchase intent, and brand favorability, well over standard keyword-based contextual targeting or demo targeting alone. So it starts with getting people to pay attention to your ad, and then by capturing them in the right mindset, you're really driving greater engagement with that ad. And it has salience for what the consumer is thinking and feeling and actually allows you to get them when they might be in the right mindset to engage with your product or brand further. Yeah, I'd like to explore that idea of a consumer mindset a little more if we can. Because um, oftentimes, uh, you know, we try to predict uh, uh, how consumers will re react based on their past behaviors, but you're saying consumer mindset is much more important. Yeah, I think past behaviors are predictive, right? But the thing about using some of these new contextual solutions is you can really get the consumer in the right mindset at that time, regardless of past behavior. Uh, one of the interesting things that we found uh, was that contextual targeting really increased the um, attention that people were gonna to pay to ads. So if you think about the, the content that they were watching, it's really important to get people in the right content where they're in a mood to hear something from a brand or product. And when contextual targeting was done right, we found up to a 52% uplift in people saying that they were in the right mood at the time, or a 60% increase in saying that it was something that they were open to at the time. So I think contextual really has the ability to deliver the right moment um, much more so than relying on signals like patch, past purchase intent. Um, I think contextual also offers us a really unique benefit here too, which is about reaching new audience. If you simply rely on past behavior or a third party cookie that says someone was in the market for something, that data could be as stale as 30 or 60 days. Um, but here you have an opportunity to reach new audiences who might be in the right mindset to hear about a product 
And that's gonna drive things like recommendation intent, search intent, and really bring more brands into your marketing funnel. I think that's interesting that you mentioned tracking cookies because one of the big issues is uh, the deprecation of third-party cookies and when that's going to happen and how contextual solutions can help uh, advertisers address that. So looking ahead, what kinds of things do you see happening with contextual and uh, in other developments? I think one of the things I'm most excited about with contextual is we've seen it really work in the online video space, short form online video. Um, but one of the major mediums where consumers are increasing their time spent is connected television. And so if we can apply these same contextual tools to the biggest screen in the house, we now have a lot of opportunity to really reach and impact consumers on the biggest screen at a time where they might be most attentive. So we've been using these tools uh, in, the, in the digital space for display for a long time and now for online video, but rolling it out to connected TV, I think really expands the promise of that channel. Uh, and it's, it's about addressability in a different way. You know, rather than, again, simply addressing consumers that have taken an action in the past or have given a signal that could be 30, 60, 90 days stale, now we're getting people when they're in the right mood to hear from your brand or product. And that has a lot of power for moving them down the funnel.